So I think we're going to do... Hmm. Tatiana, you're watching. Tell me which one I should do. I already did the doll. I'm going to save Madness in the Infinite Loop for possibly Halloween with my extra scared wife. I'm thinking Ouija. All right. Tatiana says yes, so we're going to go with that. Tea Kettle. I will call you Tea Kettle from now on because that is your handle. And here is your spout. Ha 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 ha. Dad jokes. I'm going to be a dad soon, so I need to work on my dad jokes. Um, okay. Ouija it is. Let's play Ouija. You are a single father. Your wife, Linda, passed away while giving... Oh, God. I just talked about my wife being pregnant, and here we go. We're getting on with this. You're a single father. Your wife, Linda, passed away while giving birth to your son a year ago. You will be able to use the Ouija board and contact uh, with the entity who claims to be Linda in this story. Ouija. New Jersey, 1981. You're a single father. Your wife, Linda, passed away about a year ago at childbirth. Your son's name is Mark. He's a cute baby with blue eyes that he got from his mother. As expected, you are in agony with, lot, with the loss of your wife. Mark is the only thing you hold on to. All that matters. You have been in love with Linda since the first time you saw her. She was so pretty. You wanted to be with her forever. It still surprises you to have, that you have such a charming woman in your life. Uh, sorry, it still surprises you to have such a charming woman to fall in love with you, too. Okay, yes, you're happy that she fell in love with you as well, because she's so charming. Okay, get it. Um, as I said before, uh, the people that, I guess, created this game, uh, English, I don't think, is their native tongue, so excuse me if I slip up on a few things. Some things are worded a little hmm, differently than I'm used to. During Linda's pregnancy, you lost your job at some point while having debts. She supported you in every way she could. Not only was she your wife, but also your best friend. And that's how you should feel about your wife. My wife is my best friend. And she might drive me up the wall, but that doesn't mean she's not my best friend. Usually friends do that because you have love for them. Anyway, back to the story. You found another job after Mark was born and Linda died. But of course, it doesn't make you a happy man when you have lost your best friend and wife. Looking in Mark's blue eyes gives you all the strength to go on as a single father. You see the future in his eyes. And the past. The past when you were happy with your family, despite of everything despite everything falling apart. You would lose everything if you lost Mark. Another reason that made Linda and Mark so uh, significant is that you had lost your parents too. Oh boy. Basically, you have no family members left except for your son. Nobody to consult for things... Uh, that you need to talk about with your family members. Linda's parents? You don't see those assholes anymore. They've done you wrong, and Linda. Well, that's fucked up, man. Family's family, no matter how shitty. You can pick your friends, and you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose. But you can't also pick your family members, so you should probably try to love them as best you can. It is a foggy morning. You are taking a walk in an isolated green forest, which is close to, your, to the suburb you live. In which you live, is what it should say, but that's okay. You can't see anything but fog beyond five meters. There is a single path, and you are walking it. You know that the path leads to the lake. You have been there countless times. There is nobody else there that you can see here in the forest. But somehow, you feel that something awaits you for the end of awaits for you at the end of the path the only choice I have is to walk along the path so let's do it let's walk along the path you reach a lake and you encounter a woman who looks uncannily familiar sitting at the side of the lake she is turning back to you you see that she has blonde hair and a black dress so familiar she slowly turns back and faces you with a smile on her beautiful face she is nobody but Linda completely alive I thought Linda had... Okay. Did you miss me, darling? Miss me, darling? Linda, is that you? How is that possible? Or, I've missed you so much. Uh, let's go with Linda, is that you? Yes, it is yes, me. It is yes. me. How is the... Uh, let's go with... I've missed you so much. 
I long to be with you too, again. There is a way. Oh boy. Oh boy. So, yeah, Silent Hill 2 vibes for sure. She holds your hands. Buy a Ouija board. I will talk with you through that. You know that a Ouija, pronounced Ouija or G. Thank you for the phonetical spelling. Uh, board is. You know what that is. It is the board with letters and numbers on it, and you use it to talk with spirits. A strong wind starts blowing. In the blink of an eye, her flesh turns to ashes. Oh my god, talk about Silent Hill vibes for sure. A strong wind starts blowing. In the blink of an eye, her flesh turns into ashes. The harsh wind carries the black ashes away, leaving you a grim skeleton standing with you. Oh boy. You find yourself holding the hands of a skeleton who looks into your very soul with carved eyes on her skull. You wake up. It was a dream. A repeating one. You keep having this dream every night. It started a few days ago. It is a Monday morning now, and you are in your bedroom. It's winter, but it's still sunny. After getting out of bed, you take a look at yourself in the mirror hanging on the wall. You look worn out. Let's go check on Mark. See how Mark's doing. He's a baby, I guess. They kind of didn't give his age, I don't remember. Alright, anyway, let's go check on Mark. Your house has two stories. The bedroom uh, is at the upper one. You walk into Mark's bedroom, which is next to yours, trying not to make a sound. You slowly open the wooden door of the bedroom. Your son sleeps peacefully in his cradle. You would expect a one-year-old to make noises all the time, but Mark is not such a boy. He rarely cried. He has been a happy boy. Would you say the bestest boy? Is Mark a dog? The bedroom walls are painted in a calming tone of blue. Cute figures of a lion, sun, red cat, m and moon are all parts of this installment. There is a big poster of a yellow baby bird on the wall. You change Mark diapers like you always would do in the morning. Oh, doorbell. Hello. After you complete changing the diapers, the doorbell rings. It is probably the caretaker, Isabella. She comes every morning at this hour. Let's open the door. Isabella, is that you? Oh, we open the door. You go downstairs and open the door. Good morning, sir, says Isabella. She's a woman in her 20s with curly black hair and brown eyes. She steps into your house. Your daily routine starts with making the breakfast while Isabella takes care of Mark. You go to work after breakfast unless it's weekend, the weekend. Isabella walks into the kitchen, opens the fridge, and picks up the formulated milk for babies without mothers. You could have just called it formula, but yes. Do I want to talk about my dreams or not talk about my dreams? I think I think if we can trust her with our son, we can trust her with our dreams, right? So let's um, talk about our dreams. Before Isabella leaves the kitchen, you tell her everything you see in this reoccurring dream and how Linda, quote unquote, asks you to use a Ouija board to communicate with her it's easy to see how surprised Isabella is. Sir, don't do that. It's too dangerous. You shouldn't mess with the dead. I agree. There's a lot of creepy shit that I would do. Playing with a Ouija board is not one of them. I've seen The Exorcist one too many times to know that I don't want my head to turn around in the opposite direction. And also, I don't want to stab myself in the genitals with a crucifix. It doesn't make for good company. Isabella climbs up the stairs to take care of Mark. You are hungry. You need to make breakfast. You like listening to music on the radio while making breakfast. Will you turn on the radio today? I think if we turn on this radio, we're going to hear some ghostly voices. And this story is so cool so far that I hope they play the music in the background and we can hear some scary voices. Because I am honestly in a completely dark room with just one single Ikea light hovering over me so you can see my disgusting face and it would literally scare the shit out of me if I heard some weird shit in my headphones right now so I want to get spooked let's turn on the radio you turn on the radio the playing song is Sunny from Boney M I do not know who that is um sunny yesterday my life was filled with rain 
Sonny, you smiled at me and rarely eased the pain. The dark days are gone and the bright days are here. My sunny one shines so sincere. Sunny one so true. I love you. You like that song. And, um, and that horrible singing. You like that song. It kind of reminds you of the happy times you had with Linda. You make yourself an omelet and a hot cup of coffee. This is your daily routine. After you finish, after you finish breakfast, it's a disco pop group, so it's a real thing. Oh shit! All right, I'm sorry to Boney M, whoever you are, that I sang your song in what I thought was gonna be like a Frank Sinatra sound. I totally ruined your song. Please don't sue me. You make yourself an omelet and a hot cup of coffee. That is your daily routine. After you finish your breakfast, it is time to leave the house. Will you buy a Ouija board? You can go to the toy store to buy it before you go to work. Or you can refuse to buy it, thus refusing to contact with what you see in your dreams. I think we're going to buy the Ouija board. Let's get fucking weird. Think ABBA. I'm definitely not going that high pitch. That ain't happening. That's something I do going 80 miles an hour down the highway in the car with the windows open. No one but me has ever heard that pitch of sound. Anyway, let's start from the top here. Despite it being a winter day, it is not cold outside. There's a toy store, you know. This is where you buy Mark's toys. You remember seeing a Ouija board there. It doesn't take long to reach the store. You enter the store and start searching for the board among all the colorful toys. You find a box that looks quite different from the other toys. It doesn't look cute. Not something you buy for a kid. It's a grim looking Ouija board. I think we're going to buy the board. Let's buy the board. Let's buy the board. If Captain Howdy comes through the board instead of Linda, I'm exiting out immediately and throwing away my computer. All right, let's buy the board. You pick up the box of the Ouija board and move to the cash point. The cashier is a brunette young woman. She gets surprised to see the box. Ah, you want to buy that? What will you use it for, if I may ask? So we get two options. I keep seeing my deceased wife in my dreams, or I think it's none of your business. Well, one's really rude, and one is really crazy to say to a stranger. <laughs> so... I think that if we go full balls to the wall crazy, she won't ask any more questions. If we went completely rude, she's probably going to be like, okay, fuck you and your Ouija board. So I keep seeing my deceased wife in my dreams. I have to warn you, in my religion, dead don't talk with us. There are things that claim they are souls of humans, but in truth, they are not. They are evil. Don't buy the board. So we get another two options here. I'm still going to buy it. Or you might be right. I won't buy it. I'm going to buy this damn board. We're going to talk to a demon. Okay. As you wish. But if you're going to use it, don't use it by yourself. And never ask when or how someone will die. Uh oh. Okay. So you pay the board's price. And you buy it. Oh, you haven't paid the price yet, my friend. You play with that sucker alone. You'll be paying the price. You'll be paying the price just like Reagan did in The Exorcist. You put it in a plastic bag with the logo of the toy store, and you go to your office. Oh my god, if Mark starts playing with this Ouija board by himself and gets possessed by a demon, and there's a demon baby, I will freak. As an accountant, you think that you have a dull job. Nothing interesting happens during the day at work. And you have no friends to talk to. After your shift ends, you are ready to go home. Darkness has fallen. Let's go home. Oh, doorbell. Knowing Isabella is at home, you ring the bell when you arrive home. Welcome, she says with a smile after opening the door. Her shift ends when you come home. She, got ready to uh, she gets ready to head off. Mark is sleeping peacefully. He has just started sleeping. Isabella says before leaving the house. You can ask her to assist you in the seance. Um, ask her to join you or don't ask her to join you. Hmm. 
I think we should play alone. But what if Isabella gets possessed by the wife, becomes Linda, and now you have like a surrogate wife? Oh my god. All right, let's ask her to join us. You're right. Isabella leaves. You are alone with Mark now. Before starting the seance, you climb the stairs and check on Mark. He looks so happy and peaceful while sleeping. You close the door and descend the stairs. You use the board in your living room. There's a table you can use there. You had heard that it's best to turn off the lights before talking to the Ouija board. So you get a candle from the kitchen and light it. Then you turn off all the lamps so that only one thing enlightens the room is the candle. Okay, we're going to get a little dim with our light here too. Set the mood. Let's get spooky. I like it. All right, let's get possessed by the devil. You pull the wooden board from its box and place it on the table. Then you get the planchette, the wooden part which you will put your finger on. The summoned entity is supposed to move the planchette when your finger is on it. Are you ready? Well, considering that you only give me one option that says I am ready, I'm going to take that as a hint and say I'm ready. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I do not like this. This is... On the screen is the Ouija board with the planchette. I don't I don't want to move this Ouija board. Alright. Please don't make me put my mouse on the Ouija board. I'd rather it just do it by itself. This shit creeps me out. Linda. 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 Oh god. Keep my finger on the planchette. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. H. E. R. E. Here. Oh my god, I just got chills up my spine. Am I. Should I be afraid? Oh my god, this gives me fucking chills. Oh my god. I don't fuck with this shit. Look, I've been asked to play with a Ouija board before with people. And no, I, I'm i not into it. It's not my thing. Oh, okay. It gives me a list of questions to ask. Are you really Linda? Will I bring Mark up well? Are you watching us from there? What do you want to tell me? Next page. I guess we should probably... I don't know. Let's see what this next page is all about. Oh, no, oh, previous page. Are you really Linda? It's programmed so better than the real thing. I don't know. I got to actually click on the planchette. This shit, it's creepy. Tea kettle, it's creepy. I'm going to ask her, are you really Linda? Keep my finger on the planchette. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Yes, you are really Linda. Um. Oh, my God. I got shivers down my spine. Dude, this is nuts. It's really cool. Really interesting. I like it a lot. But this is just not what I like. Okay. Will I bring Mark up well? Oh, God. No. Oh, my shivers, dude. Okay. Are you watching this from there? Okay. Yes. Yes, she's watching this from there. Wherever there is. We should probably ask where there is. All right, I am afraid to ask what do you want to tell me. We're going to go to the next page real quick. Are you peaceful? Oh, God. No. Okay. Why did you leave us? D. I. 
did did o n o t did not okay why are you restless moon it went to the moon on the Ouija board okay there was a question about the moon what does moon mean M oh. U G Y P R S Muggerips M U G Y R P S What does that even mean? All right, we're going to click it again. What does moon mean? J X V B What? Okay, we'll go back to that one. It's not giving me a clear answer on that. What do you want to tell me? A G F Z Alright, it's just speaking gibberish now. What do you huh? Let's see if it's actually Linda, okay? There's questions on here. When did we get married? What is your favorite color? Oh boy. Um When did we get married? One nine seven eight. Okay. So maybe it is Linda. What's your favorite color? Linda's favorite color is red. R E D. Okay. All right, maybe it is Linda. Why did you return? Moon. Okay, what is moon? We keep asking her what moon means. Alright, let's ask her what moon means again. What does moon mean? H R Y E Alright, set, wait, what? Okay. Huh. I'm not getting any solid answers. What do you want from me? Oh, I want the moon again. What does moon mean? Should I move on with my life and meet new women? No. That's a pretty concise answer. Okay. When will we be together? Well, I'm afraid to ask this one. N. E. V. E. R. Never. Well, that's disheartening. Okay, that's disheartening. So let's see if we can get some like her to actually tell us what the moon's about. Because all the other questions 
that are here are like, why did you return? What does the moon mean? What do you want from me? They've given us all like weird answers. So I'm going to ask her about the moon again. And then the only other questions to ask are like, how will I die? How will Mark die? When do I die? When does Mark die? I don't really want to ask those questions. So let's ask her again, what does moon mean? L. P. L. L. P. What? J. E. Okay. No concise answer on that. When did, why did you return? Let's try that one more time. K. Wait, no. It goes to the moon. What the fuck? I wonder if the moon is Linda fucking with you. Maybe. But, like, look at all the other questions it gives me. Like, we'll try what do you want from me, and then we'll go to the actual other questions, which I don't want to ask. Moon. Okay. It keeps telling me it wants the moon. And then when you ask her about the moon, it just gives you gibberish. All right, and here's the other questions here. How will I die? When will I die? When will Mark die? How will Mark die? And goodbye. I'm going to ask how, how will I die? Oh my god, I don't like this. S. U. I. Oh god. C. Oh god. I. I know where this is going. D. E. Oh boy. Yeah, I know the cashier said to not ask about death. Alright. I'll leave it there and I'll say goodbye. Uh, all I know is that I'll die by suicide. Well, not me. The character. Oh boy. Goodbye. Keep my finger on the planchette. Oh god. Oh, it's going crazy. It does not... Oh, never mind. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, I got shivers down my spine. And the planchette throws itself. It flies to the window out of the living room, breaking it. Oh my god. Okay. You hear the radio in the kitchen? Oh my god. Oh my god. That is creepy as hell. That is creepy. You hear the radio in the kitchen start to play. Something turned it on. It plays a sinister voice that laughs. Laughter of a clown? Or, no, I'm saying it with a question mark, but it's an exclamation point. Laughter of a clown. It doesn't stop. You feel it mocking you. Should I turn off the radio or check on Mark? I'm going to check on Mark. As you climb the stairs, you hear Mark crying in his room. That's certainly not good. Yeah, you're right. This is fucking... I'm, I'm scared. I'm not gonna lie. And my dog just howled like 30 seconds ago. Freaked the shit out of me. You frantically try to open the door to Mark's room. It is locked. Break the door. The door is not broken yet. You hear the muffled scream of Mark. Oh my god. Kick the door again. The door is not broken yet. You hear the... Kick the door again. The door is not broken yet. The scream stops. Kick the door. The door is broken. You rush to Mark's cradle. His pillow covers his face. It is apparent that he was choked. Mark shows no sign of life. He's dead. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. Like, I'm legit, like, on edge. Oh my god. Tea kettle. I don't know what that means, but yes, that. JFC. You cry in despair. You were warned not to use the Ouija board. Now you're alone with your remorse. Soon you call 911. Nobody believes that Mark was killed by the supernatural entity. All the proofs show that Mark was killed by his father. You get arrested. Oh, Jesus. Time flies fast and nothing gets better. You get sentenced to life for killing your son. 
You'll spend the rest of your life alone in a cell. Oh my god. Yeah, Jesus fucking Christ. Yes, JFC. Jesus fucking Christ. Yes. That. Wow. Oh my god, and it doesn't end there. Okay. And that's how your psychological problems start. You find yourself thinking about morbid matters, like the rotten corpses of Linda and Mark, or what Mark has seen while it choked him to death, or how the guardians would react if they found, or or how the guards would react if they found you have hung yourself. Sometimes you start laughing hysterically, but there's nothing funny to laugh at. Sometimes you throw wild tantrums, screaming with anger between the four walls of your cell. Are you going mad, or is it? taking you over there's no difference honestly well hold on okay we did this with that other lady so what happened to that lady maybe that lady killed Isabella it just totally dismissed the fact that like she was there okay anyway am I getting possessed here during the fifth year of your imprisonment you decide to end your life End the dire suffering, and you succeed. The end. The story has three endings. Oh, we'll be playing that again for sure. Holy Christmas Christ. That was intense. Like, my heart is pounding. Okay. Well, thank you again. Um, looks like we had... It said she left the house for some reason. Yeah, I think I do remember reading that. Well, thank you all again for watching. That was an intense story. Oh, my God. And my dog howling in the background right after the laughing. That scared me. I'm not going to lie. We're going to actually turn the brightness up on this lamp because I'm a little freaked out. <laughs> all right. Well, anyway, thank you guys for watching. And um, stick around for more. I, I hope to play more of this on Halloween. If not... Check our Discord. We might play 10 Candles, which is another scary RPG. Um, follow us on all social medias. Uh, um, we are we can be found at Rollers of Relay. You can follow us on Twitter at Rollers of Relay, R-O-L-L-E-R-S-O-F-R-L-Y-E-H. And we play uh, tabletop role-playing games, Call of Cthulhu, Deadlands, um, we got Honey Heist in there. We got 10 Candles in there. We got whatever the heck you guys want to play. Please come over and play. It's free. Um, come meet our community. Tea Kettle is part of that community. She um, went with me through this whole entire endeavor, and I hope she was as scared as I was. So uh, thanks again for watching, and have a great rest of your night.